Here it is. Nice big 70 watt copper indium gallium diselenide, also known as SIGS. So that's the panel we're going to be putting up. That's the box from Sunforce. Okay, so I installed two of these puppies. Solar panels, the middle one is just a trickle battery. We got this one right up here, another one right up there. Angled them slightly so the light could come in a little bit. Right there off the top. And my wire. They give you those nut parts, electrical nuts. We have that coming down and around, and we're gonna tie into this one. As you can see, with our inverter, we are getting we are getting some power coming in, at least indicating low level. That's just the one. We're gonna tie in the second one now. I'll show you how. I'm gonna cut that puppy. Up we go. Strip it with this little wire stripper, but then I use the exacto to put these on after you strip the wires. Just twist that on there. Screw it right on together. Okay, I got all, all the wires stripped. I'm going to put them together. Okay, see how I twisted those puppies together? Then I'm going to put that monkey nut over the top of it. Okay, there it is. Twist it on there. Came with the solar panel, so. Alright, there it is. Three lines from the panel to connecting to the other panel, then down to the line goes to the inverter box. Just right down there. Coming from this panel, connecting to this panel, okay, in parallel, black to black, red to red, down to the inverter. And there should be power going. Let's see. Oh yeah! Sweet! All right, we're live. We got solar. A little bit. There we go. Full sun now, strong. And yeah, we're getting just about six and a half watts. Here's how we're looking outside. Panels, very indiscreet especially the black frames. That's all for now from Solar Crib.